Today, one of the major threats facing organizations and companies on a global scale is that of cyber hacks. As a result, cybersecurity is one of the hottest fields in tech today, and of course, Israel is leading the way. In our first guest, SafeBreach is on a mission to innovate the way the industry validates these security risks by helping to answer questions being asked by pretty much every company doing business today. Are we secure? and can a breach happen to us? And so they've developed a groundbreaking security platform that provides a hacker's view of a company's security risks, all in an attempt to offer better protection. And here to tell us all about it is Yotam Ben Ezla, Vice President of Products at Safe Breach. Welcome. Hi, nice to be here. So what exactly does Safe Breach do? So Safe Breach basically takes the attacker point, point of view to the security posture of an organization, simply by attacking the organization. Uh, think of it like your automated hacker, which performs uh, thousands of attacks automatically on the organization. Mm -hmm. But instead of using the data for their own benefit, we'll report what was successful. And this way helps you find the holes in your security strategy. So, so many questions about that. We'll get to it in a minute. But first, I want to talk a little bit about the world of cybersecurity in general. And it's one of the hottest fields in the world right now, as I mentioned. And I understand that you were recently at the Black Hat Conference which for those who don't know, I think is the premier uh, security conference in the world. So can you tell us a little bit about what, what you were doing there? Yeah, so Black Hat is one of the most important security conferences. It happens in Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has uh, security training, which people come to, uh, to get, um, briefings on recent advancements in, uh, in research, mm -hmm. and then also a business hall where products can present uh, uh, their, uh, their capabilities. Um, so we were there as one of the sponsors, uh, but also as one of the researchers who uh, discovered new vulnerabilities in uh, Windows 10. Mm -hmm. And so as you mentioned, it's sort of the place to be for uh, cybersecurity. Can you tell us what were some of the main issues discussed there? What were some of the challenges or the main trends that we're supposed to see in this industry? So there were many, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, the main keynote was interesting. It was uh, about how uh, security is impacted by uh, the developments in the software development world. So um, security basically having to become a part of uh, uh, each and every uh, cycle in the software development life cycle, mm -hmm. where essentially it becomes everyone's job. And the, the, the driver for this is that organizations have to move so fast today and their software is changing hundreds, maybe thousands of times a day, which means that if they don't take this approach, um, they are bound to leave holes in their security. Mm -hmm. And um, this is evidently what is happening today. No one is really secure. And I mean, how real is the threat of cyber hacks? How real? How real? Oh, it's real. We keep hearing about uh, breaches in very, very large organizations, which are costing them millions of dollars on a weekly and monthly basis. So it's something that's happening constantly as we speak yes, on a daily basis to pretty much most of the major companies and even small companies around the world, and even to people at home, right? Yeah, yeah. And the average time that a breach will reside in an organization is over a few hundreds of days. So in many cases, they are there and you don't know about it. Wow, so that's a, that's a little interesting tidbit of information. So when a breach happens, it, I mean, it's, it's, they first go in and it takes a while for many companies to detect that there's a breach. In the meantime, they're gathering whatever data they need. Yeah, definitely. Because you always assume that it just happens very quickly and... Well, it can. It really depends on the motivation and then the reason for it. But mm -hmm. in many cases, when it's a really stealthy breach, it will take days and days uh, for someone to detect it. Okay, so let's talk about safe breach. How exactly does it work? So uh, SafeBridge helps um, large organizations mainly. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that uh, those organizations have invested a lot of millions of dollars in the recent around 10 years in security technologies. The mm -hmm. average enterprise today has between 70 to 100 different mm -hmm. security technologies in their environment. Uh, but the fact is that breaches are still happening. The teams there are really busy in handling all of those tools. Mm -hmm. And they don't have an answer to the simple question of are we really secure? How secure are we? Or where are the holes? And SafeBridge helps in that by um, simply taking the attacker approach, simply performing the attacks on a continuous 24 by 7 basis because of all those changes I was talking about mm -hmm. before, and exposing where attacks were successful. Okay, and how do you come up with these attacks? Uh, so we have a group which is called SafeBridge Labs, and uh, they engage in two main activities. One is uh, um, 
adding uh, uh, from a, a dictionary of known attacks, so every attack that happens out there, every breach we hear about, we add every threat group that is, uh, that is around, we add uh, uh, attacks which are in the, same, uh, uh, in the same capabilities that were used, mm -hmm. and also they do original research, and as I mentioned before, they came up with a new way to attack Windows 10. Uh, which impacts obviously millions of users. Absolutely. Um, a little bit before that, they came up with the vulnerability in uh, uh, Dell computers, which also impacts millions of, millions of users. And all of those goes into a playbook that we have that has thousands of uh, different attack techniques. So that was actually my next question. You probably work with lots of major companies. I mean, how how often do you see holes in their security networks? Oh, all the time. No one is a hundred percent, and uh, security becomes a question of risk. So it's not, I, no one can be 100% secure. Uh, those are complex uh, environments to handle with a lot of technologies and a lot of things changing and moving all the time. Mm -hmm. So there are bound to be holes. Actually, because of all this movement, um, I think over 90% of breaches that actually happen are not a result of something unknown in terms of a vulnerability, but mm -hmm. a result of a misconfiguration. So someone mixed something up, made a mistake, mm -hmm. basically, and things are open for, uh, for attackers to take advantage of. And are organizations afraid that you'll damage their systems, or, I mean, it's all... Well, How initially, yes, but when they understand the technology, the answer is no. So the way it works is we deploy simulators across the network of the organization mm -hmm. um, and in the cloud. And then the simulators simply play war games between themselves. So while they are sitting in the real network, they never attack real production systems, but the security controls don't know that. So mm -hmm. they are supposed to stop those attacks uh, as, they, uh, as they are happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this way and this framework basically enables our technologies to be 100% safe, but actually run real attacks in the production environment. And you mentioned Windows and you mentioned Dell, but what are some of the other companies that you work with? So we worked with uh, uh, large uh, enterprises uh, across um, all uh, verticals. Um, generally, uh, those organizations which have a lot of security tools can benefit very well from the technology mm -hmm. because the uh, amount of disorder there is, uh, is uh, greater. And also they have the team to, uh, to benefit from uh, uh, the way we tell them on how to fix uh, those vulnerabilities. Okay, and eventually you come to them with a the report, here are all the holes in your network, and. Uh, do you help them fix it or they go and fix it themselves? Yes, yeah, so our platform already includes those reports and also um, uh, suggestions and the data that they need in mm -hmm. order to pull this data into their security tools and hence very quickly fix the problems. Great. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today and for keeping us safe from cyber hacks. My pleasure.